Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Thursday night, the 18th of August, and these are the charts of the day. We've had a uh, pretty interesting week, kind of volatile this morning, down first, then back up in the afternoon. A lot of stocks we follow still did very well. Take a look at, uh, for starters, AMD. It's been in a phenomenal uptrend since February, having gone from about $1.75 for to today's over seven. We're looking at four times a 300% type increase in that period of time with beautiful step ups. Flags, wedges, 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 and another one. Today, it looks like it may have broken out with a pop of 36 cents or 5.4%. Volume increased to 30.6 million, 30.7 million. It looks like it's headed towards 8.5 here and maybe as high as 10 eventually. And those are my targets going forward. And W, what a run it's had. It is up against resistance near the gap fill here. And at this point, having run from 6.5 to 1040, it may be extended. Maybe we get a little bit further up towards 11, 12 range, but I'd be really careful with this one at this point in time. ARWR had a nice breakout day. If you look at the inverse head and shoulder type pattern here, left shoulder, head, and right shoulder complex. For me, this is a important move today because the volume was 3 million. That's the biggest volume since September. Breaking out across the neckline of a head and shoulder pattern could very well lead initially at least to about seven and a half. That may happen tomorrow. But my target at this point is going to be upwards of nine. This could be very interesting going forward with 30 and a half days to cover. That's huge. I'm going to keep my eyes on this one tomorrow. CLNE, well, what a move it's had off the low from 270 to 449 just in the last couple weeks. And you can see the breakaway gap on big volume a week and a half ago. That took us through and uh, after pausing for a couple of days, it then took through resistance. It kept going. It's right now at secondary resistance, right up in that zone near the today's high around 450. Secondary target is 5510, and then we're looking at six and a quarter. Those are the targets going forward. But I would look to see if there's any consolidation flag set up, pullback, you know, retrace, a low volume type of uh, entry up for a swing trade. If so, we may get uh, one for about a 50% move from four to six. We'll see. Oil stocks are really moving. CRK popped. All the way up to 738 before settling back to 652. It was up 76 cents or 13 percent, but way off the high. 5.82 days to cover. Solid volume the last three sessions. You can see two and a half million more traded. We may need to see a, some kind of pullback retrace in this area as well, because we're at gap and price resistance at today's high around seven and a half. So next target would be if it does punch through around nine nine fifteen. Keep an eye on that one. 5.8 days to cover. Another oil stock doing well is Encana. You can see the double bottom, the pop, the wedge, and another leg up, pullback, and a new channel began. With this consolidation through June and July, the stock has really begun to move since mid beginning of August, since beginning this month, when it's trading around seven and a half. Here it is over 10. And looking for a move that takes it up towards, I would have to say, we're gonna get a run at uh, the uh, 10 and a half, three quarter range, maybe tomorrow. In the next couple of days, the channel top says higher up towards 11 and a half. The intermediate target is upwards of 14. ERX, the ETF for oil shares, the triple bull, broke out of a trading range today across multiple tops with a pop of $1.86 or 5.8% on 3.8 million. This one may be on a, embarking on a new leg up. Initial target would be around just under 40. EXAS. After a two-day pullback and an inside day yesterday, today it popped a little bit. 75 cents at 3.7%. Volume was still low, though, so we may need to back and fill a little bit more. But ultimately, after reaching my swing trade target two days ago, three days ago, now we can look for 25. EXCL also had a good day. After the big pop two weeks ago and a nice wedge or coil here, the stock on volume started to pick up and jump 3.3% on 5.2 million. Need to take out the high, obviously. At 11.66, and then look at 12 and a half as a target. Secondary target is way up there near 16. HWAY, what a move this is made out of this base. First, an explosive move and a three day flag, and then a steady run up. At this point, and up another $1.33 or 5.5% today. I'm looking for a test of 27 and a half short term, 4.2 days to cover. LITE, really looking good. This former swing trade is extending after the pop and the wedge in here. It popped in reverse but held. I'm looking for a run that takes us to 38. Marathon oil, one of the better intermediate oils, 
also coming out of a consolidation range and broke out today with a pop of 98 cents or six and a quarter percent on 27 million shares. Now that's pretty strong volume, and my target now is 20. NTAP with an explosive move took out the declining tops line, lateral price resistance, two layers of it, gapped up and ran and closed at the high for the day, going away up 503 within two cents of it anyway. 17.5%, 16 million shares. That's the kind of move we like to see. But there's some key resistance just overhead coming in around 34 and three quarters, 35. We may reach that tomorrow. The secondary target would have to be up around 37.8. NVIV came coming out of a little base here where it popped the last two days. Today it jumped 67 cents or almost 10%, nearly a million traded. It looks to me like this stock wants to test this gap and this resistance around seven. I'm sorry, uh, eight, eight fifteen, and then nine, nine fifteen are your targets on this one. It's thirteen point six days to cover on that. Well, swing trade Puma is doing great. I love the inverse head and shoulders after breaking out of the declining top line, the long term down channel, breakaway gap, run up to resistance, pull back flag, and now it's moving again. Today it reached almost fifty two and a half today, but backed off to fifty and three quarters. It was still up a dollar sixty five or three point three percent. With almost eight days to cover, I'm looking for this to make 55 and eventually 65. RPD is looking interesting to me. After the IPO, the stock came down hard. It V-bottomed, pulled back, had a right-handed extended V, moved up and formed a coil. Broke out a week ago. Solid consolidation here for a couple of days, and now it's moving again. You can see resistance from the December high at around almost 18. You may reach that tomorrow. The secondary target is going to be up near 22 and then 25 and a half. And that one's got 13.25 days to cover. Shopify is doing great in here, folks, and it continues. After pulling back from resistance, snapping right back. Watch the 41 level. If we get through that, we're going to see mid-40s. UWTI, the oil ultra longs are doing great this is a triple you can see it's been up for six days in a row taking it from like 18 and change to 28 ten dollars in three days but more importantly today after breaking through the declining top line it, it ran through the 50 and closed above it right at resistance here and we and we may be in need of a pullback since this stock's gone from 15 and a half to 28 but momentum is strong in this one we may also make a move to test the top of this bar and the gap at 31 that's my next target going forward and finally, it's WB. What a nice swing trade this has been. After breaking out of the base and flagging, it just kept popping, flagging, popping, flagging, and popping again. It reached my uh, intermediate target at 43.44. I've been reaching almost 46 today, uh, two days ago, and pulled back again, but popped again today, $1.54, 3.5%. It looks like momentum's in play. This one could spike. 4.7 days to cover. We may see this in the mid-50s before not too long. And folks, that's it for this evening. You guys have a terrific night and we'll talk to you in the trading room tomorrow tgif